we are. This is 344 Congress Avenue in Upper Darby. Wanted to do a video for this one because it really has some unique characteristics that you need to see. If you notice right off the bat, you're going to see it inside. The curved wrought iron fencing coming up. Of course, it's full of snow today. Today is the day that they messed up. Six inches of snow already, and we're going to head to 6 to 12 tonight. Notice the implementation of the curves everywhere. The stone with the keystones, the brick inside of the stone. This porch here has an awning that's not on right now, but it's in the garage. iron on the porch. Check out this cool tile feature. This is really cool too. If you look at these dogs, and I'll go up to the balcony, but these dogs were bought in Okinawa and they were to protect from evil spirits. I actually have the literature that will come with the house about those, the purchase of those dogs. We walk in. Really wide staircase. This is the 42 inch staircase. Beautiful wrought iron coming up. And you'll get to see a little bit later how that goes up and curves around. To our right, we have a very big living room. Notice the replacement casements on the far side. Beautiful working stone fireplace the quarry tiles. Notice the custom quarry tiles. Notice we're keeping with the curve the half round door openings both sides and this goes into the dining room. This is really neat. A shorter chair rail but shadow boxing above. I think that's awesome. Very tasteful chandelier with the sconces. And then you have a bay opening out here. All the windows have been replaced. That um, air conditioner will actually do the entire first floor. The other cool thing on this floor is, notice down, I'm going to pan down here, we have the random width pine and peg flooring, which is in great shape. Look how, look how the light shines off of it. But you can see as I go closer, see the random width and they have the pegs that hold it down. Really cool. Look the kitchen. The kitchen is done pretty interestingly. It's more of a functional kitchen with a small eat-in area. There's a radiator over there. Casement windows replaced. But to come inside of it, you had a cooktop with the stove. Microwave above, tall cabinets all the way up. You got 42 inches crown molding. The refrigerator on this side. Not a huge kitchen, but very functional. Notice they put the panel on the dishwasher. Plus, you have like a pantry section to here. So you're kind of standing here. I'm looking under the microwave into the Eden. Now, downstairs, we're dealing with a little bit of history. Way back during Prohibition, this basement was actually a speakeasy. And if you look at the remaining soffit here, and you go on the website that I'll provide, you'll see pictures of when it was a speakeasy. Since then, the owners, you know, this is Delaware County. You have the old problem of water in the basement. You don't hear because these owners were meticulous enough to have a sump pump floating basement, French drain, however you guys like to refer to it, put in. You have a heater, only several years old. Good shape, clicking on. Hot water heater, installed in May 1st, May Day, 2009. 
dual sump pump. You notice there's a sump pump on the other side, backflow converter, I mean, backflow preventer. So that anything pumped out doesn't come back in. So the basement is dry as a bone and it smells as dry as a bone. Electric wise, all of the old wiring, no knob and tube in this house. All of the old wiring has been taken out. And we have a brand new 200 amp service. See the cable coming in? 200 amp service, well labeled, couple spaces left over. 200 amp service, done and ready to go. Washer and dryer, very good shape, clean, neat. Extra paint, which will be left for the rooms. Cabled outlets downstairs, so we're in good shape. Nice, really wide steps. Check out the cool painted chandelier on the wall. Here we are at the top of the steps. Check out the railing going around. The wrought iron continues. Great shape. Cool chandelier. You see the door out the front. Here we are at the balcony. Cool little balcony. Here's your Okinawa dogs guarding the house from evil spirits. Know it's a snowy day. Maybe I'll get some video on a clearer day. But this terracotta roof is in great shape. The owners have done some repairs on it. Didn't just get your average roofer. Made sure they had a specialist in. Once again, you see a wrought iron railing coming around. All in great shape. Okay, this bedroom, which is huge. This is the master bedroom. Four windows, all replaced. Nice, really big bedroom. We have the uh, cast iron baseboard in this bedroom. Has a, what's called a Jack and Jill bath that goes in between. Uh, about three and a half feet wide from end to end, three and a half by nine feet wide. You have the low boy toilet on one side, pedestal stink, large medicine cabinet, three foot shower on the other side, window. And if you walk through, and we'll come out the hall door, but you have another sizable bedroom with a closet. And here's another cool thing. Remember I said it was a speakeasy? Check it out. You got a safe in the wall. It's where they kept all the money from the speakeasy. Combination will come with agreement of sale. Hall closet. So we have two bedrooms. Here comes the third bedroom. Another sizable bedroom on the back. Casement window over here. Three more windows, all replaced. Come back out into the hallway. And a fourth bedroom, three windows. This is the smallest of the bedrooms, but in good shape. Definitely enough. Notice the one thing too, we have the one panel doors with the glass knobs. And there's a lot of attention to detail that has really been left intact. And then the bathroom, green bathroom. Let me see if I can put some light on the subject here. Green bathroom, and I'll try to make sure I don't get myself in the mirror. Black and green tile. Um, I think it's awesome. The tile is in great shape. Even the floor tile, really in great shape. The toilet and the sink have been replaced. You know, we're all energy efficient 1.6 gallon toilets. And a pedestal sink, very tasteful. Look at the soap dishes built in on the tile. Still in great shape. Check out the sconces. Um, maybe I should turn off the light for the scone. Oh, no, there we go. Really nice. Great attention to detail. Back out to the balcony. Three forty four Congress. Come take a look.